An Albuquerque woman claims her neighborhood and other areas are being overrun by stray cats dumped there by the city. Now she's leading a group fighting to end the program she calls cruel. News 13's Brittany Bade has that story. My primary concern is the suffering that the cats endure, and I've seen this firsthand. For the last seven years, the city has been trapping stray cats, fixing them so they do not breed, then releasing them back into neighborhoods. Marcy Britton says she has seen dozens of those cats get dropped off in her neighborhood and soon get killed by a car. As you can see, this is not a cat sanctuary. This is city streets with vehicles. Britain is part of a group of people fighting against the city's trap neuter release program. Cats have been abandoned on our streets, our schools, our nursing homes, and generally in poor neighborhoods like the one where I live. New data from the city shows Britain does live in one of the several hotspots across the city, like the southeast area down central north of Paseo del Norte by Domingo Baca Park and the area of course south of I-40. The city says this year 2100 cats were picked up, about 400 were kept at the shelter and the remaining 1700 got dropped off exactly where they were found. Britain believes that is cruel. These cats have no water source. They don't know, half of them don't know where they are. The city says while some things are out of their control, like cats getting hit by cars. We've actually seen a reduction in the amount of uh, deceased cats. The program is working. We're not no longer going to a place and picking up 30, 40 from one area. We're going around and we're getting four or five, 10, um, much smaller numbers. Now Richie is asking for patience as the program slowly cuts down on the overall number of stray cats. Still a very young, new program. And as they try to address concerns, like Britain's, but she says there is only one solution. I want this program stopped in its entirety. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. Britain says she is planning to file a lawsuit against the city over the trap, neuter and release program.